She wants an open relationship. Hey guys, Armand Dupa here again. And today we're going to talk about open relationships, open marriages, and so on. And usually, you know, <laughs> it's the woman that's going to ask for that, okay? And 99% of the time it's going to be a real shocker to you if you're a guy, okay? Now we're going to talk about this. I'm going to give you the pros and cons, and I'm going to offer you a solution that you'll never hear anywhere else, okay? So let's get with it. So let's say you've been in a long-term relationship, you know, exclusive and all that kind of stuff, so you thought... And uh, all of a sudden, one day, you know, your girlfriend asks, you know, she'd like to have an open relationship. Now, most of the time, it's not going to happen quite like that. She'll put hints. Uh, she'll mention that her friends are having an open relationship. It's helped their relationship big time. Oh, it'll help us to grow. And, and all that stuff is what she'll come up with in the end. But usually there's going to be a lot of hints that others are doing it. So be very careful. If she hangs out with the girls a lot... That's bad news in, 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 in any uh, situation, okay? That's bad news, okay? Because the way things are with modern women these days, they're in, very influenced by their peers and, and so on and so forth. Now, you might have been married for quite a few years and all of a sudden she comes up, you know, um, questions you, maybe the possibility, she's dropped hints and so on and so forth, and now she comes out with it, okay? Now, now, over the last few months, actually, I've watched hundreds of videos, you know, about stories, about men and women, open relationships, and so on. So I know a little bit of what I'm talking about. Here's what it tells us. The statistics tells us, basically, when a woman asks you for an open relationship, there's a number of issues going on, but there's 99.999% chance of, you know, uh, that what's happening is she has already somebody in mind or she's already cheating for quite a while. One of the two. It, it, look, if a woman really loves you, she loves you, she will never ask you for an open relationship. She'll be happy in the relationship. She'll be satisfied, satisfied in the bedroom, etc., etc. You will never, never, never have a woman who loves you ask you for an open relationship. And if she does ask you, there was never any love there whatsoever. You're convenient. You know, maybe she's pushing 30 and so on, and you got married or, and so, or whatever. Uh, you know, you're the backup guy. That, you know, usually the man is going to be very beta, okay? You're going to be reserved, introvert, and so on, and please her. Try to make her happy in every way possible. Well, guess what? If that's you... First of all, I'm going to show you the, the answer to that problem, okay? But if that's you, okay, she has absolutely no respect for you, you know? Oh, she'll chase the bad boys, the Chads and Tyrones that treat her like dirt. But for some reason, that's exciting to women, okay? Usually because it's, they're living in the illusion. Here's the guy that everybody wants, okay? All the women want, right? And I'm the one that's going to get him to commit and settle down. <laughs> Give me a break, you know. Usually 90% of women are chasing 10% of the men. You know, they have the illusion that, the illusion, if you will, that, hey, I'm going to tame him down. How's that working out so far, ladies? So, basically, here's what happens, okay. So, like I said, if a woman asks you, she wants an open marriage, uh, you know. But, you see, ah... Uh, open relationships and marriage, okay, you wind up with really many open marriage fails. Open marriage gone wrong. And that's almost, almost, always going to happen. It's never going to really work out. Uh, as a matter of fact, I heard a story just recently about this guy. Okay, he'd been faithful and so on and so forth. Maybe a bit of a beta male, but always, you know, pleasing and so on. And he thought their marriage was really great. Okay. Now, at work, he had this young, hot woman, really, really, really good looking. Okay. we have been kind of hitting on him, hitting on him for a couple of years. But he was faithful. He'd never go there and so on. But uh, they had each other's phone numbers because of work. And there was nothing going on. There was no texting or nothing like that. It was just, you know... They, she ha he happened to have her phone number because of work. And one day, his uh, <laughs> his wife asked him that he wanted 
She wanted a an open relationship, an open marriage. And let me tell you, that open marriage backfires big time. Okay. Yeah, but he was shocked. He was he was in you know like boom. His mind wasn't hardly working. Okay. But through it all, he did handle it like a boss. Okay. And what he did. He made sure, okay, you really want this. Yeah, you know, yes, it'll make our relationship more better and so on. And my friend Debbie's doing it and so on and so forth. And so he really, you know, for about half an hour, they're getting into this and she's giving him a whole sales pitch and so on and so forth. He says, okay, if that's what you really want. She says, yes, that's what I really want. He picks up a phone, calls up this lady who'd been hitting on him. We'll call her, we'll call her Michelle. And, you know, hey, Michelle, you know, uh, listen, my wife and I t decided to have an open relationship. Are you free this evening? <laughs> Bingo. Hung up the phone, made, made a date, went out, got showered and dressed and so on, and dressed really good and so on. Don't wait. Don't stay up waiting for me. Okay. Anyway. So, you know, there's lots of open marriage couples, but usually there's something wrong in the relationship. Because what you're looking for in a relationship, look it'll, it'll ne look, it'll never work. The moment open comes up, okay, right away it tells you she does not love you. And she's either has somebody in mind or is already cheating on you. Either way, you know. There's no other way, guy, okay. But well, here's what you do. If it's a relationship, living with you, whatever, per preferably she's not living with you. You say, okay, if that's what you want, you know. I'm not going to hold you back, okay? Good luck with your search. This is over. Goodbye. Out you go. She's living with you. If it's your place, hopefully, you know, <laughs> your name on the lease, right? You got 24 hours to get all your stuff out of the house, out of the apartment, whatever. You see, go. You know? If you're in a marriage, well, it's a different situation, but the same thing holds, okay? Look, if you're going to get divorced and so on, uh, whatever, uh, maybe you can find that she is cheating on you and get evidence that will help you depending what kind of state you live in and so on and so forth. No fault divorces or whatever. Okay. You have to be careful. Chances are you're going to take a hit. Okay. Either way, if you're married and especially for a few years and if there's kids involved, oh my God, that's even worse. You're going to take a hit, but the only thing you can do is take the hit and move on with your life. Otherwise, you're living in this crap relationship. How many years do you want to put up with that? I mean, the moment she asks that, it's over. Whether you want it or not, it's over. You know, you can't take her back. Now, usually when this happens, okay, and there's a breakup, a lot of guys, like the women, okay, they've got somebody lined up and they're all changed. It's not a big issue. But for the guy, you're broken up. You don't know what to do and so on and so forth. And men will suffer with this for years or decades. And, you know, some of them, I'm, I'm not dating women anymore, whatever. It does not have to be like that, okay? Now, I've got a story in one of my videos. Uh, it's a story of Amir. It's not his real name, but you'll get the picture, okay? And here's what I do. In my coaching, okay, I teach you how to access the alpha and theta brainwave levels. And that's just so awesomely powerful. With just that training alone, a couple of months or so, is you will get totally over the breakup. In my training, I take it a step further and I teach you how to tap into your masculine heart energy. Basically, if you're a beta male, introvert, and so on and so forth, the guy I was talking about, <laughs> very much of an introvert, 36 years old, never had a girlfriend, okay? And uh, three months, he had women chasing him. So if that's you, guy, look, I can, I can change you in a few months from a beta male to a very powerful sigma male. You don't want to be alpha. The sigma male... You know, and people think, oh, that's a unique character. Yes, it is. They're very rare. And they're the type of man that every woman wants if she, if she can get him. You see? And so, and people think it's something you're born with. No. You, you can train yourself to become that. Not to fake it. See, in relationship, guys, 
Fake it till you make it doesn't work. What I'm talking about, okay, is actually tapping in to your masculine energy and your heart energy because your energy expands from your body. I won't get into that. It's in some of my other videos that I've done recently. And women are more sensitive than men, so they pick up on it. And you walk in your mind, you, you know, you don't flirt much. You may look at a woman, get a quick glance up and down, look her in the eye, little smile, go keep on walking to go sit at your table or where you were, whatever, wherever you, or whatever you were going to do, you see. But you see, women are picking up on your energy. Like, this is like a superpower, guys. And 99.9% .9 of men don't know how to tap into that. It's not about cheesy pickup lines. You don't need that, okay? Because you'll have women chasing you. So, if your woman wants an open relationship, okay, great. Good luck. Goodbye. Get your things and leave, you know? In whatever way. If you're married, you got to go see a lawyer. You know, and I would also nose around to see if you can get some evidence. Check her phone, you know, when she's in the shower or something like that. Or if she's changed the password, then you know that she's cheating on you. You see, stuff like this, okay? So little things like that. But the whole bottom line, everybody tells you, you know, uh, you know, live your life, you know, get on with your life and be masculine and be confident and all that stuff, you know. And, you know, go to the gym, work out, you know, it'll all... And yes, that stuff is all good. It'll make you feel better. But they also tell you it's going to take you years to get over it, more than likely. You see? But when you learn how to become not somebody else, because you have to be you, but how to become more you... Because, listen, guys, according to scientists, most people are using 3 to 5% of their mental capabilities. And your mind, no matter how wonderful it is, is only a tiny percentage of your power. And when you learn to tap into that heart energy, okay, and you're exuding that energy, walking with a bit of confidence in your step, the women will notice. But anyway, that's another story. But as you uh, achieve that growth within you, just in a few months, really, uh, my coaching is like one hour once a week. And uh, by the way, as a matter of fact, I've recently formed a, a new LinkedIn group. It's small, but that's where um, I'll put the link in, in the description. And this is where you can talk to other guys and so on. This is an open uh, public, okay? And um, But I haven't promoted it or anything. I've just mentioned it in a couple of videos here. And what happens there is that maybe half the people will be people going through my training and the rest of the people not, you see. But that way you can exchange ideas and so on and so forth and see how other people are succeeding with this simple, simple knowledge. Look, guys, this is so simple I thought some of it's the kids, okay? But that, you know, that's another story. You can hear that story in some of my other videos. So here's the bottom line. Life is not over. I don't care how old you are. I don't care how handsome you are or not, you know? Like, look, today's modern young women, for example, and a lot of older women are looking for the sixes, okay? The, <laughs> the sixes, okay? And here's the sixes. Man's got to be six foot something tall, over six feet. He's got to have six back abs. And he's got to have at least a six figure income. And see, guys, that's transactional. If a woman is looking for that, she's not looking for love. She wants an ATM and a pension plan or something like that. Don't fall for it. I'll tell you, once you're ready, after just a few months, I'll tell you where to go find women, the right kind of woman, because they exist. They're like unicorns. I found one. As a matter of fact, my last video was my whole story. You want to listen to that, then you'd understand the journey you can be on. You don't have to spend, you know, uh, almost 69 years uh, researching higher consciousness and so on, because for all my learning and training and so on, what I've done basically is uh, I've taken all the essence, the shortcuts, that what would take you decades can take you a few months, okay? And nobody else is teaching these guys. And so seriously, you know, if you want to have real love in your life, I can show you how to find it, how to be kind to kind, 
how to become the kind of man that a good woman is searching for. And you don't have to, to be, you know, good with the words or anything like that. Hey, I can show, teach you a few one-liners as it relates to certain situations, okay? And you can have fun with it. And she'll enjoy it too. But the bottom line is, technically speaking, you don't have to say a word. Because your energy, very quickly... Look, I had this guy, you know, uh, within a couple of weeks he was going to dances and dancing with ladies. Anyway, that's a whole other story. And it gets better in there too, you know. So what I'm saying to you is that there is hope. All the coaching experts, you know, uh, say there's no, no hope. You just have to plow through it. No, you can get over it like that. Just a matter of tapping into your real power. And once you begin to experience, see, it's not about a, a new philosophy or get all this stuff to do. No, simple. I teach you how to make the move in your mind, which most coaches in the field of consciousness get it wrong. That's why it doesn't work for 95% of people. And I show you a technique, techniques to access the alpha and theta brainwave levels and a technique to tap into your power. No belief system involved. Doesn't matter what religion you belong to or whatever, you see. Me, I'm not religious. Everything that I do is based on science. Mind you, some people might call me spiritual, but I don't like that word either because it has too many connotations, guys. Okay? So basically what I'm saying is that there's hope you can get over it very quickly. If you've been mulling, do you do it or not do it and so on? Uh, no. Get out of it. You know, you don't need to be in the relationship to have other women in your life. Okay? Not after a few weeks of eye training. Okay? You'll love it. And uh, so this is the thing. And actually, very soon here, uh, as soon as I have enough people wanting it, I'm going to hold a two-hour, totally free master class. And actually give you an experience of the alpha brainwave levels. Plus, I'll teach you a technique to change your programming and so on to go from not being confident, being afraid to talk to women, to being very confident and how to put that new you into your subconscious mind and change the program. Because the way you think you are is only because you've been programmed from birth. We all have. You know, by parents, teachers, etc., relatives, politics, religion, and so on. And you've come to believe a whole bunch of stuff. Okay? But, and how do you get past that? You don't have to deal with it or deal with your issues. And, and unless there's something really serious, you don't need a therapist either. Because you can do it for yourself. You just need to know the techniques. Real simple. Anyway, guys, so I hope you enjoyed it. You know, uh, give me a like. I click that, but that uh, like button. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And, and, Please make a comment that helps me in the algorithms and I really would like to have your questions, anything to do with relationships and consciousness, for example. Uh, hey, type it in your questions. You know, if I can't answer it quickly, uh, or you, sometimes even if I can, I'll create a video on it, you know. And basically that, that's what we're talking about. So look, open marriages for couples just does not work, okay. Just get that in your head. And like that guy I talked about earlier, that was open marriage revenge, okay? <laughs> open marriage revenge, really, you know? And look, you wind up with open marriages gone wrong, open relationship backfiring, because look, an open marriage will always backfire, okay? It's just not going to work out. The most important thing is that you need to find a source of love within you, which will attract women like beast of honey, okay? And you need to tap into your masculine energy. And that is so simple, guys, you know? And so you can carry on with your life no matter the circumstances. And I'll show you where to find the right woman. Uh, the place that I have in mind, it's a website, but it's not a dating app, okay? Last time I checked, there were 2.1 women for every man. And out of the men that are there on that site two, three months of training, you'll be in the top five or ten percent of all those guys. And these women are fighting for the men. Okay? So, listen, it's nice when you can sit back and take your pick. Get to know them, you know, get to know them deeply, you know. Get to know them for quite a while, even before the bedroom, you see. And the fact that you can do that, because you'll be able to reprogram yourself to do that, that's another story, Okay? is that becomes even more attractive, a man that can control himself. Leads the woman to think, you know, he can control himself. He's not going to cheat. And all kinds of other stuff, right? 
And so this is something that it'll work for women uh, in a different way. I'll have to do a video on that. But uh, it works really great for men because women pick up on your energy. And that's one of the things uh, on this journey uh, is that you start to be able to, as you're tapping into this infinite energy, which powers everything and everyone, you begin to be able to read a person's energy. Because women are, you know, great at lying and hiding things and so on, and, you know, not really opening up. But you see, a woman can lie. Anyone can lie. But their energy never lies. And fairly quickly, you know, you'll be able to start to read people's energy. You'll realize it. Oh, this, this person's a total phony. You, you'll see. You'll just know it. So anyway, uh, <laughs> I think I've talked on long enough. But like, you know, please ask your questions, okay, guys? I'm here to help, all right? My main passion in life has always been the human mind and consciousness. I've been coaching in this field of advanced neuro life coaching now for over half a century. And over the years, I've taught people from every walk of life, from doctors and lawyers and psychologists and children and musicians, athletes, you name it. And uh, so that's, that's the reality, guys. And I can show you how to tap into your power. And like I did, I've got my, my story about it, the uh, last video, is I'll show you how to find the love of your life. Because I, I found it. The two divorces and going through all the crap, not going to get into it here. Okay, it's all in the other video. Um, I found the love of my life. And that was quite an experience, I'll tell you. And you will learn so much from it, the bad and the good. Okay, so on that note, I'll say, guys, au revoir.